In this video, I want to share with you my favorite GoPro Hero 10 video settings for skiing and snowboarding. All of these clips have been recorded with exactly these settings, so if you also want to get the most out of your GoPro Hero 10 or 11 when filming skiing footage, then hopefully this video can help you achieve exactly this awesome quality. In terms of resolution, I am always shooting at 4K 60fps, either in 4x3, if the white um, lens is going to be wide enough. For instance, if I'm filming the landscape or if I'm filming somebody else in front of me, then usually the wide field of view suffices. However, if I am filming myself um, with a selfie stick or if I'm trying to film a POV shot, then usually I am sticking to 4K 60 at a 16 by 9 aspect ratio, which then allows me to pump up the uh, lens to the Super U much wider field of view. Stabilization, you want to go for Hypersmooth 4.0 to get the smoothest possible image. Um, however, this also means that if you're using the regular blue GoPro batteries, uh, then you usually can only uh, use this battery up to about 70%, I noticed. And then unfortunately the camera already shuts down from my experience um, because these batteries simply don't provide enough uh, currency, uh, which means that the camera thinks that the battery has already died. So for recording in snowy conditions, you should always have these white Enduro batteries with you because they really uh, last much longer than the blue ones. Even though they have the same capacity, they are more resistant to cold temperatures. Um, on the other hand, if you don't have the white batteries and you don't have an awful lot of these blue normal GoPro batteries, then you can always try to reduce either the resolution or the stabilization because both of these actually eat a lot into your battery life. And the remainder of the settings in this first section I all have disabled. Moving on to the ProTune section where most of the magic actually happens. Uh, first of all, I'm using the high bit rate to get the most quality out of my videos. The shutter you can either have at 1 over 120, so that's twice the frame rate that I'm recording in. Uh, however, if you're struggling with uh, underexposed footage, then you can also just leave this on auto. I noticed that it usually looks also quite good and the motion blur and everything is actually quite satisfying, even on the auto shutter. EV compensation, I would always leave at minus 0.5 in order to make sure that the GoPro doesn't overexpose certain parts of the image, making you essentially lose the details in those regions. Because once details have been lost in the video, you're no longer able to recover them in post. On the other hand, a slightly underexposed image you can always boost in post production and make sure that the image is nicely exposed. White balance, I usually shoot at 5500 Kelvin. I noticed that this usually looks the best when shooting in snowy conditions. However, as always, you can always adjust the white balance in post as well. In terms of the sensitivity, it's very important to set the ISO min and ISO max to the lowest possible value, so a ISO of 100. I actually didn't do this when I first started shooting with my GoPro Hero 10 and had the ISO max at like 5000 and unfortunately it seems that the GoPro favors a high ISO if it's allowed to go there, even in a sunny and bright day, making the sky for instance look very noisy. Sharpness I always leave on low in order to make sure that the GoPro doesn't over sharpen the image because once your video is over sharpened there's really no way to undo this and you can always add some sharpening in post. The color profile I always leave on flat for the exact same reason so that I can boost the colors and make them look to exactly my liking in post. Raw audio I leave disabled and the wind reduction on auto. Note that I anyways always film my skiing footage with these kinds of very cheap uh, windshields around my GoPro um, that do a reasonably well job to reduce wind noise. Finally, for the shortcuts, I have the lens in the lower left corner, the white balance in the lower right corner, and the stabilization in the upper right corner. If these settings helped you to get better skiing footage, then leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this. And definitely check out this video, where I'm using these exact settings to film the steepest slope in Arosa. Other than that, I hope I'll see you in another video. Ciao zusammen!